we are on 98th Place Boulevard in Lamar County, and you can see just pieces of this retaining wall for the apartment complex are falling off. If you take a look at the wall, the crack has gotten big enough and it's pulled away enough from the wall that I could fit my arm in here if I wanted to. The fence itself is also bowing as this surrounds the apartment complex. Now this isn't an apartment building, it's just a retaining wall surrounding the apartment complex, but residents in the nearest apartments were evacuated as a precaution and here's how they say their morning unfolded. Jasmine Hardy wasn't expecting to spend her Friday morning evacuating from her apartment. Around seven o'clock, they, we, they were beating on the door saying that we needed to evacuate because the wall on the outside had fell over and the building is at risk of falling over, of collapsing. So that's what I woke up to, like out of my sleep. Tom Hall lives in an apartment closest to the cracked wall and also woke up to evacuate. One of my neighbors knocked on my door and said, we got to get out of here. The wall is, is cracking and so I walked back there and looked and sure enough, the foundation of the building is just it's, it's, it's seeping down. It's sort of like Hurricane Isaac in 2012. It did the same thing, only not near as bad. This time, it's, this is pretty bad. The first things they grabbed to take with them? My medicine. You know, I'm diabetic and I have asthma. First thing that I grab, purse and cell phone. In the meantime, we're just going to try to wait it out and see what happens. There's just no reason to panic. I mean, gee whiz. Can't argue with Mother Nature if she wants it to rain for four days, you know. Now, if it keeps up for four more days, we may as well start building a boat, you know. Residents that were evacuated have been moved into empty apartments in the same complex for the time being. Management says no buildings and no people are in imminent danger as of right now. In Lamar County, Amanda Lebrell, live for WDAM 7 News.